You can reinforce protein structure and specifically amino acids when we talk about nutrition in our classes. I like to do this using the amino acid uh, building blocks and the amino acid starter kit. And I first start by reviewing amino acid structure and what it is, because students know a lot about what that is because of either weightlifting or other activities where they're watching their diet. And if you notice, you should see that we have a carboxyl group, we have a carbon backbone, we have an amine group, and then on this model, we just have that pink that forms that R group. And then we can look and analyze the different kinds of R groups using this chemical properties circle. And with the chemical properties circle, we can go through and have them first identify all 20 standard amino acids. Then they can look at the 11 non-essential amino acids that we make through different metabolic pathways like the pentose phosphate pathway, glycolysis, and the citric acid cycle. And then I can have them sort the nine essential amino acids that we need in our diet. So I give them some time and they sort for those amino acids. And what they find is that of the nine essential amino acids that our bodies cannot make, we must get through our diet, they find we don't make histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. And sometimes students want to further sort these by properties, and they find that we have two hydrophilic amino acids side chains. We have one basic amino acid, and then the rest of them are all hydrophobic. And if we look for patterns among why we might not make these, there really aren't any. So that leads to a discussion where we can talk about uh, what would have caused us to lose the ability to make these amino acids. Did we ever have the ability to make these amino acids? Or did another organism gain the ability? And it's a really rich discussion. That also leads us then to talking about how you can make sure in your diet that you have these amino acids. But you can get these amino acids by eating lean meats like beef, pork, poultry, bison, goat, anything that you would like there. You could also have fish. You can also find it in pulses like uh, lentils, peas, other legumes, beans. It's in tofu. Uh, you can get it in dairy products. It's in nuts and seeds. So it's in a variety of things. So regardless of what you like to eat, you can find some protein in it. You could also find it in whole grains. So go out and have some essential amino acids. Stay healthy. I'm Ruth Hudson, and until next time, happy modeling.